you have to go through the most important quiz in your magical life. Welcome back, friends, to the Mabel's Quiz Channel. All right, choose one card and you will know at which house of Hogwarts you will study. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Congrats. If you chose the first card, you will study at the Hufflepuff house. Let's check the second card. Congrats, it's Slytherin. Wit beyond measure is man's greatest treasure, Ravenclaw. And finally, if you choose last card, you will study at Gryffindor with Harry, Ron, and Hermione. Do you want to know how you will receive a letter from Hogwarts? Choose one card and find out. And I don't recommend you to choose card number three. Are you ready? Three, two, one. If you chose the first card, you will receive your letter from Hogwarts with an owl. If the second one, then Hagrid will deliver it to you personally. And finally, if you still chose the third card, you will not receive a letter from Hogwarts because you will be born a squib. To study at Hogwarts with fun, you need a friend. Choose one card and find out who will be your best friend. Are you ready? Three, two, one. If you chose the first card, your best friend will be Draco Malfoy. The second card is Cedric Diggory. Boom shakalaka. If you chose the third card, then your best friend will be Seamus Finnegan, and you will always blow something up together. Oh my God, you've got the wrong school. Do you want to know in which subject you will achieve great success? Then choose one of these cards. Are you ready? Three, two, one. You will succeed in potions if you chose the first card. Professor Snape approves. Professor McGonagall will become the mentor of the best transfiguration master if you have chosen the second card. It seems that studying is not your vocation. Maybe you will open your own store with magic jokes if you chose the last card, you will become an outstanding expert on magical animals and will be able to surprise even Hagrid. During the Triwizard Tournament, you will participate in the Yule Ball. Choose a card to find out who will be your partner. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Ouch, you got a gangsta style because you will dance with Gregory Goyle. Congrats. You're going to dance with the smartest girl at Hogwarts, Hermione Granger, only if you chose the second card. Wow, good choice. Especially if you love Herbology, you will dance with Madame Sprout. Did you choose the last card? Well, Cormac McLaggen wants to get to know you closer. You need a Patronus to defense you from the dark arts. Choose one card and find out what Patronus is yours. Are you ready? Three, two, one. The first card, your Patronus is a cat. The second, your Patronus is a bear. Third, your Patronus is a deer. The last card, your Patronus is a penguin. Well, perhaps dark forces also live in Antarctica and this Patronus will be very useful. You stayed at Hogwarts for Christmas. Choose one of the cards and find out what gift you will receive. Are you ready? Three, two, one. The first card, you got a sweater. At least you won't be cold in winter. The second card, you got a wallet with infinite money. Congrats, you can buy anything what you want. Oh no, the owl has lost your gift. You're not getting a present. Behind the last card, you will find a gift that most young wizards dream of, a new Nimbus 2000. You were offered to visit one of the magic schools in another country for an exchange. Choose one card and find out which school you will go to. Are you ready? Three, two, one. If you chose the first card, then you will go to Beau Baton. Improve your French and meet a lot of beautiful girls. The second card, you will go to the Wagadu School of Magic in Africa. There, you can learn how to perform spells without a magic wand. You have chosen the third card and will go to the Durmstrang School of Magic. There, you will become one of the most powerful magicians using the dark arts. If you chose the last card, you will go to the Japanese School of Magic 
Mahutokoro. There, you will receive a mantle that will grow with you and change color depending on whether you are a good or evil wizard. To travel around the world and buy magic sweets, you need money. You can open one of the vaults of Gringotts Bank and take all the money inside. Each vault has a different amount of money. Choose one of the cards and find out how much money you will have. Are you ready? Three, two, one. You open the first vault and found some money, but you'll have to work part-time in the summer to fully pay for your studies at Hogwarts. Congrats! If you open the second vault, then you found a whole treasure. This money will last you for a lifetime because it's twice as much as Harry Potter's inheritance. You can relax. Oh no, there's nothing in the third vault. You'll be lucky next time. In the fourth vault, you will find enough money to pay for your studies at Hogwarts, and it will even stay for sweets. Every great wizard has an enemy. Choose one of the cards and find out who will be your main enemy. Are you ready? Three, two, one. If you chose the first card, your main enemy will be Mr. Filch. He will always keep an eye on you and tell the teachers about your tricks, and Mrs. Norris will help him in this. The second card, Dolores Umbridge will be your main enemy. She will punish you for lying even when you tell the truth. You have to become very disciplined to defeat her. If you chose the third card, then your enemy will be Lavender Brown. She constantly tells gossip about you and gets angry when you see each other. Maybe she's in love with you. Finally, if you chose the fourth card, your worst enemy will be Voldemort. This means that you are a strong and famous wizard. As you know, wizards can live for a very long time. Do you want to know how long you will live if you become a wizard? Then choose one of the cards. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Congrats. If you chose the first card, you will live almost 200 years. If you chose the second one, you will live as long as muggles live. Oh no, you chose the third card, so your time is up. You died in the Battle of Hogwarts. Wow, you chose the last card and you will live forever because you have invisibility cloak, which means death will not be able to find you. Do you wanna know what you're going to do after graduating from Hogwarts? Choose one card and find out. Are you ready? Three, two, one. The first card. After Hogwarts, you will work at the Ministry of Magic. A little more and you will become a minister. The second. You will become one of the most famous Quidditch players. Third. You will be working on the night-night bus. And finally, if you choose last card, you will return to Hogwarts and train a new generation of young wizards. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment below and tell us what answers you got.